Okay guys, in this video I'm going to be checking out these two batteries here. Uh, this GMB 450 on the bottom is kind of my favorite battery for the 2 to 2 1⁄2 inch size 3S setups uh, on the micros. And I just got this uh, new Zeus Juice 444 uh, 3S battery. And I'm going to compare this one to my favorite and see what the numbers uh, show. The internal resistance numbers on the GNB here are, are in the 10 to 20 range and the one on the Zeus juice here are in the 15 to 25 range, so a little higher on this. So I'm going to see what the uh, voltage sag is like on a, an aggressive uh, prop where I know that there's a lot of voltage sag on these two batteries and we'll see uh, what, uh, which battery does better in terms of voltage sag. So the micro I'll be using here is the Sonic 2.5 inch frame and it's got these 1106 motors with the King Kong props that are um, very well. The, the voltage sag is pretty significant on uh, 3S here so I'll have an idea based on the uh, FPV footage which one is uh, actually sagging more uh, between the two batteries and I'll have an idea which one's better. So the test I'm going to be doing here is pretty simple. I'm just going to do a set of full throttle punch outs and we're going to measure the uh, voltage sag at the end of the punch out and just note that there is a slight delay in the voltage reading versus the throttle reading. So if you're wondering why the throttle is at zero it's because there's a, there's a lag in the voltage reading. For some reason the voltage sag on this particular run was quite a bit lower than the other runs and I don't really know why. So in the final analysis here, the Zeus battery has just got a little bit more voltage sag than the GNB battery, and this is consistent with the internal resistance numbers that I showed earlier. So the bottom line is the GNB battery is just a little bit better than the Zeus battery, but I think the performance is fairly similar.